What is up, super fans? I'm Matt Stockholm, and this is another edition of the Quantum Corner Friday Rundown. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. That will get you into our giveaways, and I will talk more about that at the end of the video. Okay, so what's up, guys? As I mentioned in my comic book pull list, had a little bit of a vacation, but now I'm back. I got tons of stuff I want to go over. So for this video, we're actually going to talk about uh, some news that was leaked that involves Samuel Jackson's Nick Fury, as well as stuff that I think is going to lead into uh, the MCU future and even Phase 4. Okay, so recently some news has leaked that Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury only has three movies left on his contract. And those movies are expected to be Captain Marvel 2, Spider-Man 3, and then possibly a new or young Avengers movie that's in the making. I want to jump back to Spider-Man Far From Home and talk about an Easter egg. Okay, in the post credit scene, when we see Talos, who is actually impersonating Nick Fury, so Nick Fury can have a vacation, okay, he mentions that there are uh, Kree sleeper cells all over Earth. Now, the sleeper cells, much like terrorists, are of a group of individuals who are kind of hiding out, staying under the radar, and waiting for their moment to attack. And a lot of people think that this may very well be a reverse secret invasion story. That it's not going to be the scrolls that invade, but it's actually going to be the Kree. I think this idea could be a very cool twist to the secret invasion storyline, bringing that to the MCU. But I don't believe that the scrolls are going to be completely removed. What I think a, a better chance of happening is that the Kree will actually team up with some of the scrolls who aren't so Earth friendly. And maybe they promise them their own planet free of Kree rule if they help them take over the Earth or maybe even just kill Captain Marvel. Remember, Captain Marvel's been flying around the cosmos, kind of keeping everybody in line. So it's probably kind of a thorn in the side of the Kree, especially after all the stuff that happened in Captain Marvel and with the Kree Supreme Intelligence and Yon Rod. She definitely left a bad taste in their mouth, and they definitely, I believe, want vengeance. So could it be a situation where if they help them with the invasion and maybe kill Captain Marvel, get rid of the Avengers so nobody's in their way to stand their rule? And then maybe they give the Skrull a planet or maybe even Earth as their reward for helping them with the secret invasion. Okay, now this part with Fury uh, in this third movie of this New Avengers or Young Avengers, I think ties directly to the comics. Now in the secret invasion storyline, Fury assembles his own team of heroes a bunch of young, unknown heroes. Some of them are even offspring to other mutants or heroes, which I think is really cool for what they're building to in the MCU. Now, in the comics, it's not actually the Young Avengers or the New Avengers that he assembles. It's just his own kind of team. And by having these unknowns, it's very, uh, it's more likely that they won't be scroll impersonators because nobody really knows about them. So that's why he assembles this team of unknowns. And I think this could play into, as a secret invasion story unwinds, I think that could be a good way for Nick Fury to assemble his new team. Maybe characters like Kate Bishop or Ant-Man's daughter Stature. Maybe down the line this is going to be Photon uh, from uh, the young girl from the first Captain Marvel movie, uh, Monica Rambeau. So there's a lot of things out there that are coming together and I think that they are going to use this Secret Invasion storyline to really bring these parts together. Okay, now another Easter egg I want to talk about and I mentioned this in my Spider-Man review uh, at the end of the movie, again with the post credit scene, when we see Talos and then we see Fury on the ship out in space, it's believed that this ship is the Peak. And the Peak is the main base for S.W.O.R.D. S.W.O.R.D. being Sentient World Observation Response Department. Yes, what do they handle? Outer space problems. They're basically like S.H.I.E.L.D. of the outer space. So that's pretty much all I have for this video, guys. Definitely let me know what you think. Do you think they're building the secret invasion? Do you think it's going to be a reverse secret invasion with the Kree? Do you think the scroll will somehow be involved? Do you think it's going to happen at all? So definitely let me know what you guys think. But I am super pumped. I really think this is going to happen. And I think this is the start of it right here. As always, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Comment down below. That will get you into our giveaway. Our next poster giveaway, we're getting really close, is going to be at 200 subscribers. And as I've recently mentioned, our 1K subs giveaway is going to be the Marvel Legends Nanotech Gauntlet. 
So keep watching, keep sharing, keep paying attention, guys. For the Quantum Corner, I'm Matt Stockholm saying, stay super, everybody. Mm -hmm.